Welcome to the Super Bowl Sunday edition of the Lowdown presented by Lexus. I told you last week I was bringing it in. Let's go those Niners. Did you guys want one? I can get you one. Uh, no, thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm OK for that. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Very proud and very excited. Anyway, five questions, 30 seconds each. Go. Who's got the first question, one? Six question. questions today, actually, because it's Super Bowl. Yeah. Sunday. Question one. Yeah. It comes from the Celebration Police. Oh. Are you with them? Are, are, are Arsenal over celebrating when they win, or are you okay with these kind of celebrations? Who's it offending? Do you know what I mean? It's like if it, it, who cares if they, if they are over celebrating, mm. right? The only people that get damaged by that are them, uh -huh. because if they don't then see this through and win a title or win a cup or, or win something as a team, then they're the ones who look silly. Nobody else. So these people who are like, oh, they've just got to stop all this like messing around and these laps of honours, like. Get a life, knock it off. No, let them do what they want. It's about entertainment, it's football. We're doing it for the joy of seeing people have moments and having those moments with those people. Ah, oh, people Love need it. to move on. Wow, go, go Niners. <laughs> like it. I have question number two for you. Yeah, um, let's go those Niners. That's uh, what you're supposed uh, to say. Okay. Why is it those Niners? It just is, okay. you'd know if you know. Okay, um, so if you're a West Ham United fan, Right. Would you be with Moyes or without Moyes? I, I'd, I'd be with him. I'd be with him. I mean, where are they in the league? They're in eighth position. West Ham United, not that long ago, when David Moyes came in in 2019, were relegation fodder. And now he's taking them to eighth. They've won a European trophy. They are officially, Robbie, in their best ever um, era at yeah. the club. Yeah, they are. Actual facts. Best so, ever so era. So losing the London so, Derby 6 0 was okay. No, I never said that was okay, did I? I, I love the way he comes back at me on the lowdown. <laughs> um, he just gets his own back for the whole day. Um, it's not okay. Of course, not okay. It's rubbish, actually. It's, and I think he called it atrocious. But you're allowed a blip. He's done an incredible job. If I was a West Ham fan, I'd be incredibly careful what, to, what you're wishing for. Okay. Let's go to the Champions League spot. Oh, more. I want real football. Come Who on. Who finishes higher, Aston Villa or Manchester United? Uh, Manchester United. Ooh. You know, with Villa, I've got this horrible sinking feeling. As much as Unai, I know, Unai. I love Unai and I love Villa and I've been a big Villa fan all season um, in my neutral way. But I feel like it's one of those situations that we have seen countless times before. Leicester That's have done it. Them. Yeah, they're just going to start to... It's like a little balloon that just loses the air very slowly and then it just shrivels up. Mm, and, I, <laughs> and I feel like <laughs> at the end of the season, if they can get fifth, yeah. incredible. Could be Champions League I think you're fifth, not, yeah. yeah, I think United will, will finish above them. OK, next question. So yesterday, Joel Embiid talked about loving Peter Drury and oh. loving to hear him commentate on basketball. Love him. Which other sport would you like to hear Peter Drury commentate on? Oh, that's an amazing... I mean, anything. I mean, I think, I think the Super Bowl with Peter ooh, Drury ooh, would be... Oh. Could you imagine oh. what he would say in A, the build-up, then yeah. when the real winning touchdown went down, or the fourth down, the third down <laughs> thing, when that happens just before the touchdown, because that happens, doesn't it? Fourth down, then touchdown, is that right? Uh, um, or well, whenever it happens, oh no, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know all about the downs. And then Peter Drury, when they win it and they lift the Vince Lombardi trophy, can you imagine Peter Drury on that? I'm not quite sure how he hasn't had the Quick chance. Quick follow-up, what about baseball? Could he enhance baseball? No. Oh, I mean, he could, Peter Drury could enhance anything. Correct. But, I mean, baseball needs a it's little, little help. slower. It needs a little help. Slower. I think it needs a Peter Drury, <laughs> if we're honest. Let, let's go to our other commentator friend, John Champion. Yes. I mean, there was a champion breakfast brought out this week. I think we're going to take a look at it we here. We spotted it on Twitter, we didn't we? Yeah. What do you least like about it? <laughs> and what do you most like about it? G give me... <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I, c c the sausage is too big and it's too blunt. We've discussed that. It's a bit overcooked as well. The beans are too congealed. They need to be a lot more swimming in the sauce. The egg is too small. The kedgeri is interesting. Come back to that. The mushroom looks like a muffin. The toast needs butter. The bacon is too thick. I'm going to go with the kedgeri. If anyone hasn't had kedgeri at home, you've got to have it. I, I've like not a, had kedgeri. Yeah, I can't believe that. It's such an, it's like an English sort of granny thing. It's Could you maybe fish. bring that in next week? Or? I'm not sure Kedri would it? travel would you well. Some? No, it's like a smoked fish egg rice contraption. I'm not sure they'd let me put that on the plane. It mm. might stink out the joint. So no. Is that my last question? <laughs> One more question <gasps> to six. Talking about stinking out, <laughs> <laughs> that stinking out the joint. Thing. We know you're a great singer. And you, we lo you love to sting wow. behind the scenes. <laughs> sing, sting, <laughs> sting. <laughs> you love to sing behind the scenes. And we all join in and sing and we have fun here. You love now it. the Super Bowl com coming up. Yes. Course. What would be your dream performer for halftime for the Super Bowl? Oh, I know. It's easy. It's easy. I, I, it's easy. I, I think I know where you're yeah, going to go yeah. here. I've got two. Ooh. 
If we're going, it has to be an American person that people know. I'm going Luke Combs because I'm seeing him in concert in June and I'm so flipping excited. It's untrue. We've I had a absolutely lot of Luke love him. Today. But if I could literally pick anyone in the whole world, it would be Take That. Uh, I knew it. Uh, I knew and it. don't even tell me you don't know well, who Take That is. That with, Robbie, home. with Robbie. Oh, without Robbie. Without Robbie. Robbie. The late 90s, original, uh, mid 90s. Take That. Robbie Williams, Gary Barlow, Howard Donald, Jason Orange, Mark Owen. Bring them to the Super Boom. Bowl. How have they not had Niners, the invite already? Let's do it. Also, let's go Niners, chaps, let's right? Let's go Niners. I think they're going to win. Yeah, so do I. George Kittle. Kittle's brilliant. He is absolutely fantastic. That hair's amazing. Mahomes, Christian McCaffrey. Just got to contain the homes. Kyle Taylor. Kyle Shanahan's Swifty. got it in the locker. Don't worry about it. Follow those Niners. Don't forget, you can watch all of our original content on the NBC Sports YouTube channel, Premier League Update, the two Robbies, Premier League Tactics Session, and this crazy show they call The Lowdown as well. Thank you for watching the Super Bowl edition of The Lowdown, presented by Lexus. Let's go those Niners. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.